movement. One of the pillars of game design and vital to get right for the perfect game feel. But in our little game of Hytale, where can they go with this? Well, actually the answer might surprise you. What's up guys, it's me welcome back to another video. Now before this video starts, I just want to say hello, my name is Sweetup, I've been covering Hytale pretty much since the game was announced. So if you're interested in Hytale at all, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're a real one. Now right off the bat from the copious amounts of Hytale gameplay we've received, we know that it will have the basics. Walking, sprinting, jumping and crouching. And you know, if Hytale was nothing more than a Minecraft clone as all the haters say, they would probably stop there. But no, Hypixel has gone above and beyond to try and make the game feel more fluid. One of the key ways they've done this is by enabling mantling, which just means that you can climb two block high walls without needing to place blocks or destroy any, which I'm sure makes traversing the world probably feel quite a lot better. I don't know if this is just me, but whenever I play a Minecraft world, I kind of hate placing blocks or destroying them. And even if I do destroy them, I'll kind of like destroy them in a way where it doesn't leave a massive scar on the world because I don't like destroying the natural terrain. I don't know if that's just me, but if other people have that problem, let me know in the comments. So being able to just climb short walls without really worrying about destroying or really thinking about my traversal at all is actually a massive, massive positive. Now, one other thing, I kind of have this in my memory, but I couldn't actually find where Hypixel said this. They will allow you to just walk over one block high obstacles. Say you've got one block just in front of you, you just walk up it without needing to jump. Kind of like Minecraft's auto jump feature, but probably a lot more fluid. I think a lot of Minecraft mods have this, and whenever I've played with them, it's always feel really, really nice. You just kind of glide up each block without having to go boing, 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 boing. If you've played Minecraft, you know exactly what I'm talking about. One example of this in Minecraft is whenever you build a mineshaft, like a, uh, a, a line just going down, you always really kind of are aiming to just fill that with stairs, but that means having to mine another block higher and make those stairs and craft those stairs and place those stairs. It's just a pain, but it looks like in Hytale, we'll just be able to dig those tunnels and not need to worry about placing stairs at all, which would be really, really nice and probably cut down massively on the amount of time we're wasting in game just moving about. Now, this is kind of speculation here, but one thing we've never actually seen in Hytale is a stamina meter. We can see in gameplay that there are three resource meters in Hytale. There's health, which is red. There's probably mana, which is blue and used for magic attacks. And there is this yellow meter, which I am guessing is hunger. Stamina meters in most games are usually used to balance out melee attacks, but at the same time, the game's designed are just like, hey, we have this stamina meter that goes up when you perform actions. It would make no real sense for sprinting or moving fast to not consume that meter as well. But in my opinion, that just leads to really annoying and frustrating gameplay where you're just running slowly and fast and slowly and fast just over and over again and it's not really fun. Maybe Hytale has a different way of balancing out melee attacks that doesn't need a stamina meter so sprinting around the world won't consume anything but at the same time there is a hunger bar but Hytale isn't a survival game it's a fantasy RPG and in a lot of fantasy RPGs sprinting costs nothing so Hypixel could very easily make the decision to make sprinting not cost anything at all which I honestly think would be really really nice. Hunger systems are kind of a chore and they're only really good if you can manage them while playing the game normally. Overall, I just think sprinting, not costing anything, would just be so, so nice. But Hytale could go anywhere with this, to be honest. Now, there's more than mantling and walking over one block heights. Let's talk about the juicy stuff, the flashy stuff, movement abilities. Movement abilities, whether or not they're strong or not, are always the most fun. And it looks like Hypixel knows this and has implemented it a lot into their combat. As we can see in this combat showcase, we've got two characters here. One of them looks like a heavy character who's holding a big heavy mace and has tons of armor. The other one seems to be kind of like a roguey build with some lighter armor and daggers. Now we do know that in Hytale, weapons will have their own abilities. So these abilities will probably complement each other in some way. And we can definitely, definitely see that. You can see the daggers guy, he's just flying around everywhere. He's going for backstab, he's going whoop, whoop, whoop. And he's just going everywhere and it looks crazy. Crazy, right? And even the guy with the mace who's walking around kind of slowly, he still has a couple jumps up his belt. Now Minecraft doesn't really have a lot of movement options, but with Hytale you can really see they have a massive, massive focus on it, which just makes me think that it's going to be way, way more interesting and fun. It's going to open up a ton of opportunities for outplays in PvE and in PvP, and I honestly can't wait for people to start playing with it including me. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe if you're new. If you got to this end of the video, you're probably going to like my other videos. They're pretty much like this. So just subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're a real one and tap out. Peace. See ya.